Hey guys, welcome to Red's FX, the place for newbies in what the hell's in these as well as low low budge, budge, budgeters. Um, uh, today, guys, um, my name is <laughs> it's always as obviously you can see down there. You know, it's I like, got the whole thing. You know. Today, guys, we're gonna be creating some really cool diaper explosion effects. Now you see, the key to a good diaper explosion is that you don't really got an. What are you doing? What was he doing? What are you doing? Welcome to Red's Effects, the place for newbies, indies, as well as low budgeters. My name is Waze. No, not him. You see that? That's mine. Yeah, I don't know. I'm sorry about that, really. I, Ned's been acting up recently. I don't know why. I don't know. He's just been all over the place. I don't know, guys. I mean, I've, I've always had a problem with that sack of donkey crap, but recently he's been, he's been going overboard. I mean, look what I found him hiding with under my bed. Yeah, where do you even get something like this? So you see, I've been driven to the point where I might as well not ever sleep because I might wake up or uh, rather not wake up and find my house in flames. So I've decided to install security cameras inside my house on every single corner. Why inside? Well, you know why inside. Normal people, they, um, you see, they, they install cameras on the outside of their house to deal with burglars, but not me, not me. You see, not me. I'm, I, I'll invite those burglars inside, but not me. You see, my problem is inside the house. I live with the lunatic. So I can see the display right over here on, uh, on my iPad for all the different angles um, covered in the house and uh, let's just um, see Oh, there he is seems to be in the passage just outside of the the recording room so uh, there he is walking down so basically in this episode I thought I'd teach you guys how to do this for yourself just in case we have you know similar problems I freaking doubt it though so just shoot your footage, jump in here from Express, and I'll see you there. So here I have my shot in the compositing timeline in Hitfilm Express. Now I'm not gonna lie guys, this effect is extremely easy but at the same time, easy to mess up. For example, if I told you that this footage was pulled from an actual security camera, would you believe me? Probably, because even though it's high quality, it still feels like a security camera. You know why? Yep, you guessed it. The angle. This shot is static, set up high with a wide field of view as well as no obstructions. If you were setting up a real security camera, these are all things you'd make sure were in place. So it's vital to nail your angle as without it, the shot will just look like a normal clip with a whole bunch of filters applied. Okay, moving on to the actual look. I'm gonna be recreating my chosen look which is a standard black and white CCTV camera look, but you can either add more or leave out a few steps based on your own preferences. So the first thing we'll do is create a grey layer to house all of our effects, that way it's separate from the actual footage. Then let's head up to the effects panel, open color correction and drag on the hue, saturation and lightness effect. Here all I did was turn the master saturation all the way down. You can leave this out if you want your shot to be in color, of course. Right, next up we'll drop on our good friend the curves effect. Here what we'll do is add in a large amount of contrast as well as boost the brightness a touch. Don't be afraid to go overboard with the contrast as most cheap security cameras don't have proper black values. Okay, next up to make the footage look not sharp, let's add the lens blur effect. So let's head back to the effects panel, open blurs and drop on the lens blur effect. Here just set the amount to 5 pixels and we should be good to go. Next up. Grain. Here I use the film grain effect which is unfortunately only available in Hitfilm Pro so we'll leave that for last. So moving on to the next effect we'll open up the distort folder and add the mosaic effect. Here the settings are as follows, a thousand for the horizontal blocks as well as a thousand for vertical as well. This just gives it a subtle glitch sort of look to lessen the quality of it. Okay, next up we'll add the text. So let's select the text tool and draw a box near the top left corner. Then I'll type out CAM01. For this, I'll be using the VCR OSD mono font. And if you want it as well, the link is in the description. We can then adjust the scale and position until we have it where we want. There we go. I'll then repeat this for the time in the top right corner as well as the date in the bottom left corner. You can obviously change the placement and details to whatever you want.
It's important that all these text layers sit underneath our grade layer so all of the effects affect the text as well. Right, as an additional step, you can add the time code effect, which can be found in the generate folder, but personally, it didn't fit the look I was going for, so I just used the version that comes built into Premiere Pro. But once again, that is up to you, and the standard hit form time code effect will work great. Our final main step is to create a new grade layer and then drop on the action cam lens distort effect. Here, all I did was simply set the preset to GoPro Hero Wide. This is optional as well if you want some wide angle lens distortion as seen in most security cameras. We also need to make sure to drag that layer down until it's just above our footage. That way our text doesn't get distorted as well. Okay, there is one final step that I did in my shot, which is to add some scan lines as well as the film grain I mentioned earlier. Unfortunately, these effects don't come with HitFilm Express, so let's quickly hop on over to HitFilm Pro and get this done. Okay, here we are in HitFilm Pro. Let's visit the effects panel, open up the grunge folder, and drop on the film grain effect. Here the settings are as follows, set the size to 16mm, the grain strength to 10%, and finally, tick the box next to monochrome. You can up the amount if you'd like, but I found that 10% looked the best for what we're going for. Side note, you'll also want to drag this effect in the stack just under the lens blur effect if you're working in Pro, of course, for the best effect. Next up, let's apply the scan lines effect and then change some settings. Set the frequency to 300, the sharpness to 1.9, and the angle to 180. Finally, we'll also set the shift to 0.25. And there it is guys, a simple security camera effect that is both easy to pull off as well as really effective looking. So, follow all those steps and you should end up with something that looks a bit like this. But, that's it for this episode guys, hope you've enjoyed it. That is my time, I've got to, uh, you know, you know what, you know, I think I might, I might use this. On him, you know, so um, uh, stay tuned for the videos on the end screen, which should be on my right hand side right now, as well as um, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And uh, hopefully, I'll see you in the next video. If I'm not dead, but uh, by the, of my accounts, he should be. I'll see you in the next video. Ned, I'm coming for you.